is the place They say People come from far, far, far away To find their dreams Chasing down these medias and comments Called dreams in the sky of life Chasing them, chasing them, chasing them There's certain hot spots Yo, 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 what's good here, everybody? It's your boy, SJK, the first Black Super Saiyan to wear around his planet. I'm back here with another video. We have the Aquaman teaser for Zack Snyder Justice League. Um, as you guys know, Aquaman now has a solo film. Aquaman 2 is coming next year. You know, I'm excited for that. I saw the first movie, and damn, James Wan. Oh. James Wan, man, that nigga James Wan, that nigga got an eye for creativity, mother bruh. This nigga had an all-out sea war. <laughs> we saw a giant fucking sea monster. An Aquaman was out here riding on this motherfucker. <laughs> Summoning the, the creatures of the ocean. And I was like, what the Fuck, this nigga tight. Now, um, shouts out to Aquaman. Um, this is the version. This is what we would have got if WB wanted to go with this version of Zack Snyder. This is what we would have probably got. But they went with the Josh Whedon version. So we have the Josh Whedon's take on uh, Aquaman. I don't know how drastically different it will be from this version. I don't think it will be too different. I'll be honest with you as far as character. Um, I just hope for this film, this version, we really see Aquaman's reasons for wanting to fight. Because in the Whedon version, Aquaman just randomly pops up out of nowhere and finds the Justice League somehow just out of nowhere. He talks to Mera. And for some reason, I'm over here like, wait a minute. Why isn't the current king of Atlantis doing this? Why is Mera sending Aquaman, this person that is not loved by Atlantis? Because he's a half-breed. And he's not allowed to be there. You know, and he just randomly just goes to Atlantis and stuff. And he's really not wanted because he is a half-breed. You know, people don't really love him like that. You know, and you would think... The appointed king of Atlantis would be the one to go and retrieve the mother box that his people is sworn to protect and watch over because the previous king that fought in the war, uh, you know, chose to take care of that mother box. But it's whatever. I just hope there's good reasonings for Aquaman's come uh, Aquaman fighting and joining the battle in this film. And it, it didn't even seem like Aquaman really wanted to be there. I'm like. Nigga, do you want to be here or not? <laughs> you don't seem invested. He didn't seem invested. He just pops up. First things first. What you need to do is hit the subscribe prompt here. And then what you want to make sure to do is hit that bell. Make sure it all. So you get all my notifications of all my videos. Please make sure you do that. I'll catch you guys later. Deuces. Oh, one more thing. Shouts out to... Uh, bruh. The nigga who talks to fish had a more successful movie than Batman, Superman, and <laughs> Wonder Woman. Bruh. <laughs> Shouts out to that one billion. Not one billion. That one billion. W-A-N billion. Shouts out James Wan. He did his thing. Oh, that fucking suit. Bruh. Shouts out that Aquaman suit. That shit golden, my nigga. Let's go. The Aquaman, the king of the seven seas. Well, he's not a king yet, so I don't know why people call him a king. Like the you font. Can't turn your back on the world forever. William Above or below. Thousands of years since a people spoke. The firstborn and beloved queen of London. I need warriors. You can't escape. The time has come. Take up your mother's trident. This is a bad idea. I am the devil in his army. No. Add in the weeding cut. Yeah. 
seen this in the Hallelujah trailer. I've seen this in the Weeding Cut. I mean. Well, I think this was. I don't know. Maybe it was. I, was I remember seeing images of this scene, though. When back before, like, when Zach was releasing, you know, photos and stuff. Before, while he was on set working on. Y'all see, I do remember this. I guess that's... Supposed to be King Atlan. Maybe it's supposed to be King Atlan. I don't know. Because we know the James Wan version and this version was probably different. James Wan clearly took his own creative direction because James Wan's film, style wise, is completely different from Zack's when it comes to how the action was choreographed, the, the filters, the color of the film, the tone of it. Very deviated very far from Zack's tone. I'm not saying they are connected. Don't get me wrong. The movies, in my opinion, are not connected because you look at like stuff like Wonder Woman 84 and Aquaman, Shazam. All that is a totally different take from Zack's version. Sure, the same uh, person is casted to play the same character, but as far as the director's vision, totally different. James has a different vision for Aquaman and Zack has his vision for Aquaman. James probably, you know, Zach, James and Zack probably talking then, you know, he was... He probably asked Zach for some tips, like, you know, if you were to do your Aquaman, how would you sort of push him forward in, in your film if I were to continue off yours? Well, you do this, 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 and that. Even though Aquaman is definitely more connected to what's well, connected to the Whedon version, because that's the version WB considers canon. WB considers this a director's cut. So, um, yeah. WB considers the weed and cut as the canon, but all that shit finna get wiped anyways in Flashpoint, so that shit don't even matter. Shit, at this point, what's canon don't even fucking matter because <laughs> WB gonna do their own shit after uh, Flashpoint. Because they wiping all this shit. All this shit going. Uh, but yeah, I mean, cool teaser. It was cool. Just like the Superman one and the Batman one, it was cool. The Batman one was the most exciting one simply because you hear Darkseid's voice in that trailer. So that was the most exciting one. Like, yeah, we saw the scene in the, in the weeding cut. I mean, him failing to stop the water. <laughs> he didn't even... Well, maybe in this version, he may actually hold back the water. I don't know. But in the weeding version, he ain't... Man, this nigga came in here, stopped it for a little bit, then the water still uh, flooded the flooded the place. So we'll see. Uh, in my honest opinion, I think in this version, the water just going to go ahead and just flood the... Flood the uh, flood that little tunnel they was in anyways because he has his mother's trident he doesn't have king atlan's trident and king atlan's trident is way more powerful than um you know his mother's trident but yeah um hey even though we're gonna go back to that uh, that dark green uh, suit Uh, that dark green suit. Hey, as long as Aquaman does some cool shit, please. Oh my gosh. I just asked one thing in this movie, Zach. I hope the final battle takes place near fucking water or some shit so Aquaman can be fucking useful. Like, guys, damn. Because, in, look, in a Whedon cut, the biggest thing that turned me off from Aquaman was that this nigga didn't use any of his abilities like that besides just his super strength. If it just seemed like Aquaman was just like just another strong person on the team. Because the area they was fighting in was nowhere near any water. He really didn't use his, you know, his Atlantean abilities like that besides the super strength. There was, there was no fish near, so, you know, he couldn't call any fish and fish can't walk on land. I just hope that the battlefield, I'm not sure how different the battlefield would be. I'm assuming the same place they fought in the Weeding Cut, that um, nuclear plant, is probably the same as in the Snyder Cut, you know, I'm not sure there, there ain't gonna be, if there ain't gonna be no water around it, we just gonna see Aquaman just using super strength and not using his, you know, other abilities, like the ability to manipulate water or the ability to, uh, to talk to fish and have the fish do deeds for him. I don't know, I just gotta see. Hopefully he just uses 
more of his, you know, his, his power. What makes him stand out? Like, this nigga can manipulate water, uh, talk to fish and shit. I mean, you know, yeah, I know, talking to fish, you know, it's not needed. I'm not sure what talking to fish will be needed for, but, you know, show us his other abilities in this version of the film, please. Because in the weed and cut, this nigga wasn't doing none of that shit. This nigga had one scene where he was in the water and fought, and that was it. And that's when Steppenwolf came to take the other mother box. Make sure you have more scenes of this nigga using the actual abilities and not just super strength. You know, show more. Show more. Show more. Show Aquaman doing more. Yo, yo, yo. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I gotta let y'all know. I wanna let y'all know how to become a member of the channel. First things first that y'all need to do, you're gonna go to my homepage, which is here. You'll type in ssjk.sanctum. Spell just like, spell just like moi. And then you're gonna hit join. Once you hit join, you can hit any of these tiers and you can join them. Support this Please. channel. What you get with these exclusive tiers is you're going to get members only requests and reactions and reviews and they'll be requested from members. So stuff that I usually don't cover, you guys can request for me to cover and I'll cover it on my channel for you guys since you guys are members of this channel. Let's continue it. Oh, one more thing. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Nigga. <laughs> Niggas really thought Zach was about to do a mini series. <laughs> nigga, he dropping a movie, nigga. Niggas thought he was gonna make a mini series. What the heck? Nigga, he's tripping. All right, catch y'all later. Go to that peace, love, positive, and all that jazz. Don't do drugs and uh, deuces. What'd you do? <laughs>